Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Tretch Craven Tail playthrough, where, well, I'm sure you remember, we are slowly expanding. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, we missed our last uh, playthrough, guys. I am, as I'm sure you're aware, very busy with baby and everything at the moment, so I am missing the odd one. I'm going to be honest, I've also been quite busy playing a lot of Battletech, and if you've not seen my Battletech playthrough, by all means jump over to Vanity. It's a very good game, and I can't recommend it more, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, right, where are we at the moment? Let's just get our bearings again. So we're pushing here at the moment against the uh, Bretonians. Oh, we've got this battle to do. Actually, this battle should be a joke. Um, yeah, we get both armies here. So let's let's just jump into this battle. With the amount of bowmen they've got, they've got this battle should be a little bit of a joke, guys. Um, because those bowmen are going to do nothing. I mean, they will hurt us as we initially charge. Don't get me wrong. Our initial charge is going to hurt and it is going to be painful. But, beyond that, we're going to, you know, while that initial charge will hurt and will be painful, we will rip through them. Let's take a gamble there. Hmm, my reinforcement's coming in over there. I don't like setting up on that chunk of wall, so we're going to set up over here. I could spawn forwards, but there really is no point in that. Okay, first things first, let's take out the towers. And these walls are going to be full of archers for me to take out once we get everything here. There's so many archers in the city, which we should be able to take out fairly quickly, actually. As always, we'll move these guys up. These guys can move up to join the other the rest of the uh, artillery. Power's nearly down. There's so many archers. This is a ridiculous amount of archers they've got, guys. Which, I mean, it could falter my first charge. We're just double timing while everything moves into position. But once they are, we're not going to double time while we're firing our artillery. As we've seen what happens if we do that. Oh, wow, that one is gone. That one is also gone. You two are going to break off. Is this nearly tower gone? Yes. Alright, we are going to cease fire. Double time as all these guys move over. In fact, let's hit this tower. No, nope, let's not bother. We can get all our guys over here and then they're not going to be being able to be shot at by that tower anyway. Hmm. And then we're going to start knocking holes in the walls and killing all these troops. My only worry is just how many archers they've got could cause us problems. You're meant to be leaving the battlefield. While we're doing this, let's sort these guys out into groups. Then my melee group. Sorry, my, my anti-infantry group. So you can join this group. Oop. And my large creatures group. And my 
ranged group, and then we have everything else. And of course, as always, we have our um, Warlock Engineers. Right, we're in a close enough position now. Let's shoot these guys up on here. Now let's cease fire. And we're going to break this chunk of wall as soon as everybody's reloaded. And now. Nice. Come on, get a second good volley in there. And we will kill a lot of troops when this goes down. Come on, one more hit. That'll do the job. And again, we're going to stop. I'm going to do the same on this chunk of wall and take out, hopefully take out all of these units here as well. And let's go. This is where having so much arty on the field is, so, is good. Because you can just, just rip this to pieces before they have a chance to pro really react. There you go. I'm going to do the same here next. We do have a little overkill thing there where we just keep shooting afterwards. Let's hit this chunk of wall. Come on. We might even get the hero here if we're lucky. No, we're not going to be that lucky. Oh, maybe we are. Did we get the hero? I think we did. Nice. And let's hit this bit. Trying to get off, but it's whether they can get off quick enough. Come on! Not quite fast enough. And let's batter up here again for a while. Break all of this soon enough. Right. What? Why is all this chunk of wall indestructible? No, let's not do that. However, let's do this. Because they will cycle more and more up here. And we batter things there as they do it. Oh, those troops flying off. Let's fire at will. Double time as they reform. Oh, 
Oh, we're not hitting anything. There we go. Keep pounding away at them until they're done. Um, these guys are going to try and sneak forwards and hit there. What should we come in here? here? No, we're going to sneak forward and hit here. Oh, wow, they're actually hitting the ground in amongst these troops. That's quite cool. Let's try and sneak them forwards as well and hit them. There we go, got some good shots coming in here now. Oh wow, well we are getting too close, so no, let's pull back. Right, let's just move my army in now, guys. These guys should be weak enough. These guys can still push... No, these guys are all going to get pulled off. These guys are going to come and try and shoot the Flying Lord, because he's flying, so we might be able to get some good hits on. Nope, you can wait back. They're probably going to move in time, but we might catch them. Well, actually, we've got quite a good catch there. hitting their own people with a spell there. Wow! See, if they'd flooded this out the walls with people, then I might have had more of a problem here. Oh, wow, we are actually in range and shooting at him now. quite concerned by the amount of archers, simply because they're just going to be a pain to deal with. It's double time to get our guys in. There we go. Let's get my assassin on the there to finish off their lord. Yeah, he's going. Wow, my frame rate is also going. Now this is where we just need to push. We need to push hard. Because these arrows are actually going to hurt. This chunk of my army is going to charge down this way. You guys are going to get some... Get some uh, Skaven up in, so in you just to slow you down. We're going to keep hitting that Lord because we can kill him. Oh, just seeing they're taking it. going nicely. Some of you guys need to keep moving. As do you guys. 
half of this is going to be herding my guys to keep them moving against all of them. They've nearly got their lord down. These guys definitely don't need to be locked. Come on, one more good hit. Or two. Or three. Let's pull these guys out, to be fair. We're, 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 we're done there. You guys can go that way. And you guys can keep pushing this way. You guys can all fold around there now. We've just b murdered the enemy lord. You guys can all slam into the centre here. Some of you guys can go that way. We're going to rip them apart here now as these guys fold into them. They're just going to break. I doubt they, they're going to break before we even get to them, guys. And this is going to fall apart as this is mostly archers. And is these archers break... But they are peasant archers. They probably don't affect their morale as they break. There you go. You guys can all try. Oh, wow. Everything in the centre has just broken, guys. Let's just keep charging through here. And they, to be fair, they're, they're, they're coming back. But that was just a mass route. Proper mass route, guys. I mean, they weren't even... They've still got troops, and they are just running from the vermin tide here. Let's keep this going. Just keeping the pressure on now is everything, just to keep them running. Not giving them a chance to regroup. Once we finish them, we're going to push on. Oh, 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 let's have some fun. That, that did the rest of our breaking. <laughs> wow. That wasn't a battle, guys. That was a proper massacre. Um, wow, we lost so few people there. That, that went well. I was expecting to lose far more. If they'd done it right, I would have lost more. But they never really brought their archers into play properly. You know, they could have almost left a line of archers in front of their walls when I charged. And they, while they would have lost still, they could have decimated my army in that charge. Hmm... They are behind me, which is a little worried, but never mind that. Okay. How are we doing up here? We've just pushed the Dowie out. We've made an alliance with them. Well, not an alliance, a peace treaty with them for the moment. You're trying to get yourself in so we can get up and try and capture here and support from the other side. At some point we are going to make a move on Skaven Blight. I really hope my allies don't try and get that. Public order buff there. Walls. Always walls. Hmm... This is one of my warlords. Um, we've got everything along here I really want. Oh, 
he's already immortal. I could buff him up, or I could buff his army up, get him lightning strike. Um, let's, uh, oh, no, no, ambushed success chance. Of course, always for Skaven. That one is really beneficial to us, because for obvious reasons, it buffs our ambush chance, which is it's quite beneficial to us. I am beginning to rival for Dowie, but I'm wondering if for Dowie you're in a war with the Vampire Counts. And my big worry is if them and the Vampire Counts don't... I want them at each other's throats, because that distracts them from me. And I'm going to want to take both of them out at some point, but we want the rest of the old world gone first. Hmm. Don't trust them. Right, we're going to move these other armies up to try and capture some... Try and capture, expand our front here in, in, in a in the Empire, or what used to be the Empire. Um, we're going to end up bordering the Dowie, which I really don't want to be doing just yet. I think I'm going to end up with quite a large front against the Dowie, unfortunately. And they're just running behind me, so we're going to use this army to try and, try and intercept. Hmm. The idea of fun to fighting some of those uh, high-end Dark Elf armies is scary, but High Elf's Dowie armies are going to be equally scary. To be yeah, high-end armies in general are scary when you're playing as the... Uh, Oh, wow, we've got Chaos moving in over there. But Chaos don't necessarily know where I am. We make cruel pact, yes, yes. Strong oak. No. I'm going to want a military alliance with you. It's an interesting offer for me to say no to. Oh, Tretch can even catch them. Okay, that'll that'll do. There you go. Hmm. We'll push forwards to their next turn. You're going to take their Tretch will start heading back around that way. I'm going to head this way. Hmm. Let's go capture here. Nice easy auto for us. Okay. We've still got the walls. Let's start pushing them up. Hmm. Okay. Let's go capture here and hide. Let's hope the chaos don't come for me. Because the chaos comes straight for me. I, I, I'm basically stuffed. But you know, they might not.
They might not know I'm there. This army's nearly good to go. God, oh, they're still just sitting there. Oh yeah, you're going to come around this way. I've got more armies than I realised, and we've got another army to push over now. And we can now make armies here as well, which is going to help us massively, guys. Not that I'm going to do it just now, but we can start building, making lords over here. We can build our armies over here. Oh, who are you meant to be with? Probably him. Definitely him. Oh wow, we need to be careful of that. In fact, I'm going to need to move forces together to deal with that, because that's a big Dowie army there. Hmm. Okay, let's end turn again. So the Wood Elves were already losing territory to the Dowie there. They've got limited, you know, they've only got one territory, which is going to limit what they can recruit, actually. Because uh, the Wood Elves need multiple territories to be able to hold everything they can recruit. Oh god, was that Dowie sailing towards somewhere? few lightning victories versus the Dowin, we might be able to force a peace, but we're also at war with the vampires, so uh, we're at war with too many people here. Aren't the Dowi and the vampires at war? Please tell me they've not made a peace treaty, because they do seem to sometimes, um, which is a little annoying, but, you know. Hmm... A Bretonian army up there. We've got him, so we're going to move people in to secure there. No, I'm quite happy with how we're doing. Um, what we want to do is we want to trick this Dowie army out if we can, so we can get a good ambush off on it. Hmm. Well, na they're at war with Nagron, so there's going to be some fun battles there, which I don't care about. This is the lovely thing about being Skaven. These things can go on around me, and I don't necessarily get involved. I mean, they're not at war with me, but they don't even necessarily know I control that territory. And there you go, sailing straight past me, because as far as they're concerned, that army just vanished. That is a weird army. Oh, you annoying. That was easy. Oh wow, we are missing something very important here. What is this? Ah, uh, this is just a special port. We're gonna pull into there, we're gonna pull up here. See, they're friends with the dwarves, annoyingly, um, which could be a problem. 
would like to make peace with at least one of them. Anyway, guys, we are going to be ending this one here. So we've expanded a little bit, though mostly this one's just been that one big battle. Um, we're going to keep just working on this, guys, being careful. I'm getting my boards a bit longer, so I need to... I want to bring this sort of area to us close. We'll take all of this, and then we'll kind of hold the line here. When we can go back to the Wolverwood Elf, we'll poke them, and we'll potentially just hold the line here, guys. Um, so we've got a nice defensive line here, and then we'll start working on the old world. Anyway, as always, please feel free to comment down in the comments, guys. Or, uh, please feel free to jump over to my Discord and say hi. Um, there's also links to my Twitter and my Patreon in the description and the comments. Thank you very much for watching, guys.